Hey guys, it's Chandler, the shop manager here at Utah Trikes. I'm gonna show you guys how to re remove and replace your wheels on your EcoTad. This is also the same for the FatTad CXS wheels. The tools we will use today are the Park Tool Allen Key Set, specifically the sizes five millimeter and eight millimeter. You will also want to have some thread locker to ensure it stays secure when replacing the bolts. To begin, we need to remove the brake caliper first. To do this, use your five millimeter to remove the two bolts that hold the IS mount to the spindle. We will remove the IS mount and the caliper all in one piece. That will allow you to remove the brake easier to take the wheel off. After the caliper is removed, set it out of the way. Then take your eight millimeter and remove the dust cap on the outside of the wheel. When that is complete, use your five millimeter to access and unscrew the bolt inside the hub. These bolts will be pretty tight because we torque them down in the shop when they are built. After the bolt is removed, keep the washer attached to it. After all that, we now can remove the wheel from the trike, it just slides right off. Now to replace the wheel, we just need to repeat our steps backwards. Put the wheel back on the axle, put the bolt and washer back inside. Note that this does come with some thread locker on it, but I would suggest putting a little bit more to ensure it stays put. Tighten the bolt snug and secure because no one wants a wheel to come off mid-ride. Replace the dust cap on the front wheel and screw it back down. It helps to place it in the wheel and spin the wheel to make it screw in quicker. Remember not to tighten down too tight because it can seize to the wheel, but tight enough that it's not going to come off easily. To replace the caliper, grab the cable toward you and under to line up the two holes on the spindle. These bolts also come with thread locker but again, I would recommend you put a little more on when replacing them to keep them secure. When tightening down the caliper, make sure you are tightening down evenly so you don't get any binding on the caliper and rotor. Do not tighten down until you get it snug evenly. There you go, your wheel has now been replaced. So you don't need any tools to remove the axle, it just needs to be loosened to pull the wheel off. Make sure the chain is on the smallest gear. This will make it easier to replace and not mess up your gearing. This is the quick release axle. Open the quick release on your left side. Loosen the nut on the right. Do not go too far or your cap will fall off. The rear wheel will drop out. Roll the derailleur forward to give some slack in the chain and make an easy pad wave to remove the wheel. Now that your wheel has been removed, notice that there is a spring on each side. This is what keeps the tension on when you put the quick release in the wheel. Do not lose those when you take them apart. To replace your rear wheel, go from the bottom and line up the chain with the cassette on the lowest ring where your gearing was before. Pull up and pop it into place. Line the axle with the dropouts in the frame and be sure to put it in as high in the dropout as possible or you may have trouble with your shifting. Tighten the nut on the right side and fold the quick release tab on the left side down. Make sure the quick release nut and tab are as tight as possible so your wheel remains secure then you are good to go. All right guys, I hope this demonstration helped answer some questions. If you have any other questions or concerns, uh, give me a call or shoot me an email. I'll get back to you when I can. Um, we love the feedback. Um, see you guys on the next one. Relax, spin fast, ride trikes. Let's answer some of your questions. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Just give me a call or an email. I'll get back to you when I am able. <laughs> Recently we got a question, how the bell works, so here's the demonstration. <laughs>